One of the good things about this scenario is the fact that you can't see Dave Twardzik actually clicking his heels together, but you can hear him saying, there's no place like home. And the Monarchs return home and a Conference USA barn burner against Charlotte. It's turned into a tremendous rivalry for us. One, geographically, it, it makes a lot of sense, but both teams, there are a lot of, a lot of similarities between these two teams. Both teams defend, and uh, both teams play hard for 40 minutes. After Charlotte got off to the fast start, the Monarch offense started going a little bit more, and when A.J. Oliver can hit some threes, that's always good. Oh, there's no question about it. If he hits a couple threes, and thank goodness he did tonight, it stretches the defense, it opens up some penetration or posts up. It's just a, it's a tremendous bonus for us. We also saw another solid performance at both ends of the floor from Jason Wade. Jason Wade is a man. He, I love watching him play. He's a blue-collar guy, do whatever it takes to win not afraid to mix it up. Plus, how about he developed a little bit of a jumper tonight. A little jump shot from Jason Wade who'd go for a career high 23 points. Aaron Carver, we've got to talk about him. Three for three shooting the ball. He's never going to be a huge scorer, but he's cashing in when given the opportunity. Seven points and 15 rebounds. He's had 32 rebounds in the last two games, and he's undersized. He does it because he's smart, he sacrifices his body, and he's sound fundamentally. You said going into this game, one of the keys, and it's been a problem for Old Dominion, is turning over the basketball, live ball turnovers that turn into opponents' points. Those numbers look good for ODU tonight. In Charlotte, turnovers killed us. It, it resulted in 22 points. Tonight, we had uh, single digits at only, I think it translated into five points. You put that much of a premium on the ball, if you don't turn it over, especially live ball turnovers, you have a good chance to win. Only seven turnovers for the Monarchs tonight, and as Dave mentioned, only turned into five Charlotte points. Another thing that you had to like was composure down the stretch. It got crazy a little bit, but it didn't get crazy to the extent that it did a couple of days ago at Western Kentucky. Monarchs were able to hold on for the win. It would have been very easy to fold. Charlotte, in the last eight minutes, goes six for ten from the three-point line. And the mentality could have been, oh, uh -oh. my gosh, here it comes uh -oh. again. We have two guys now that are, are willing to step up. Jason Wade is one, Malik Curry also. They both did, and in the end, the Monarchs win over Charlotte, 66 to 62, 5,490 here to see the Monarchs improve their overall record to seven and 12. They're three and three in Conference USA. For the Hall of Famer Dave Twardzik, I'm Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.